Hey guys, it's me, Rachel. Welcome back to Rachel Reads, where I read only awesome books. What is that behind me? Ah! Oh my goodness, there's a snake behind me. Oh, okay, that scared me. Did it scare you? It's pretty beautiful though, huh? I'm going to read Jeff Goes Wild by Angie Rosalar. Jeff Goes Wild. This book is really cool and has beautiful pictures. And I'm pretty scared of that snake behind me. Make sure it doesn't bite me, guys, okay? <sighs> Jeff, he's a cat. Jeff sat by the window as the rain poured down. One bored little kitty in a big gray town. He might look small and gentle and mild, but being stuck indoors was enough to drive him wild. I am Jeff. Hear me roar! I am a big tiger. See my stripy tail. My furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl. Fear my awesome claws. Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggle Tum, you beastly cat. No gourmet kitty treats for you, someone yells from the other room. His full name is Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggle Tum. <sighs> That's hard to say. I'm going to try one more time. Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggle Tum. <laughs> Silly name. I'm a tiger, says Jeff, so I really don't care. And he slunk off for a nap in his favorite armchair. <sniffs> Jeff was soon woken by a peculiar sound. His pointy ears twitched and he looked all around. His little nose wriggled at a strange new smell. He felt a bit nervous but curious as well. The jungle was dark and things moved all around him. Jeff bravely set off to explore his surroundings. Butterfly! I'm a big scary tiger, says Jeff. See my stripy tiger tail, my furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl, fear my awesome claws. Is he scary? Not really. <laughs> Jeff sprang into action and pounced quick as a flash, but he missed by a whisker and landed with a great splash. There's that word again, S-P-L-A-S-H, splash. Jeff felt quite silly as he sat in that pool, so he dried his wet paws and he did his best to look cool. But there in the bushes, and now wide awake, secretly slithered a huge stripy snake. Yes. Ooh, I'm so scared of you, snake. Please don't bite me. The snake was quite scary and scaly and green, but Jeff puffed up his chest and tried his best to look mean. I'm a big, strong, scary tiger. See my stripy tiger tail, he told the snake. My furry tiger paws. Watch me as I growl and prowl. Fear my awesome claws. The snake, looking rattled, decided to flee. Bye-bye, snake. When he saw behind Jeff in the shade of a tree, the beastliest beast in the jungle for sure, and then, all at once, came a ground-shaking roar! Who do you think that is? <laughs> Jeff and Tiger found themselves nose to nose. What have we here? growled the tiger. Jeff froze. Well, how could he answer a question like that? I am Jeffrey Fluffy McSnuggletum, and I am a cat. See my stripy fluffy tail? See my tiny kitty claws? Watch me as I pad and pounce with my dainty little paws. He sure changed his tune, didn't he? And now it's time that I was off. It really was nice to meet you. Oh, won't you stay, Tiger said. I promise not to eat you. But Jeff said, no, I have to go. He'd had quite enough of the jungle. He was tired and scared and missing his home, and his tummy was starting to rumble. He knew it was time to escape, but how? Then he remembered what cats do best. Meow! I'm good at jumping. No one can match me. I'm nimble and quick. Even tigers can't catch me. I'm great at climbing way up high. I'm difficult to beat. And if I fall and fall and fall and fall, I'll land safely on my feet. <laughs> tigers are great, purred Jeff happily. But I am who I am, and I love being me. As he washed his paws, he smiled. It was good to be small and just a little bit wild. And that is the end. What a wonderful book. I'm so glad that snake didn't try to bite me. Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> okay, let's all jump up and down and say we love books. Yay! We love books. We love books. We love books. See you next time. Bye.